felt. And it just got worse from there. The desperate 911 calls from a polo field after two horses collide at high speed and a rider is trampled. Tracy McTaggart was killed last week when her horse collided with another horse during a polo match in Wellington. CBS 12's John Bachman shows us how the death of this wife and mother of two is having a big impact in South Florida's polo community. This is a picture of Tracy McTaggart taken the same day as the tragic accident that claimed her life. Yes, this is Outback Polo Club. We're at International Polo Club. We have a player down, not moving. Witnesses say her horse ran into another polo pony, fell, and rolled over the mother of two. Shortly after that, the emergency calls started pouring in. Would it be possible to get a, a, an ambulance here faster? She is going to need the tomahawk. Polo is a small community, and it's very much a family-oriented community. So when anyone gets injured, it, it affects everyone. David Leminska is a professional polo photographer and captured the shots of McTaggart playing her final match. She was a member of the Hawk Hill team and was considered an eight-goal player, meaning she was relatively new to the sport. People in the polo community are stunned. It's a shock to everyone. Professional polo player Brandon Phillips says danger is a part of the sport. At times, the ponies are running 35 to 40 miles per hour with the players carrying mallets fighting for the ball. And while Phillips says the recent death of Tracy McTaggart is on everyone's mind in the polo community, it's something that players cannot focus on while on the field, or he says it could happen again. When you go out there, you, you got to put it out of your head. It's like any, any sport. You, you think about getting hurt, you get hurt. And we're not sure after all this what will be the result for the Outback Polo League. This is their website here, and if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, this is where the Hawk Hill team used to be in this corner right here, but it's no longer here. But as we were told tonight, everyone in the polo community's thoughts are with the McTaggart family. Juan Carlos?